Good morning. It is going to be a beautiful day in Southern California. And uh, today I have my uh, American Cancer Society Relay for Life that I'm excited about. And thankfully, it's just a wonderful, wonderful day here in my little town. Um, but wanted to get this haul um, done as quickly as I can and filed away. So I uh, hope everyone's having a good weekend and uh, we will get it on the road, get the show on the road. So uh, first few books are going to be some of my pull list things, uh, pull list books as I do like to show. Uh, first book, Motor Girl number five, Terry Moore. Um, I'm still picking it up. Uh, it still has made the cut. Um, I think probably more so because I, I just, I like Terry Moore. Um, I've supported him for a long time since Strangers in Paradise and of course, you know, Rachel Rising, which is probably one of uh, my favorite runs of the past 15, 10, 15 years. Um, so, uh, Motor Girl number five still making it uh, on the pole. Uh, this right here is uh, Black Cloud number one from uh, Image. And I uh, I love Jason Latour, um, Southern Bastards. Just a great, great writer. Um, this was going for uh, right out the gate, 10, 12 bucks. I, I haven't checked it in a while. I don't know exactly what it's going for right now, but um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I always give uh, new books on my pull at least three issues, so uh, it gets at least another two. Um, certainly, the big book, the big pull book of the week. Um, these were two weeks ago, maybe even three, actually, the ones right here, Black Cloud and uh, Motor Girl. But uh, for last week, um, definitely uh, Batman number 21, The Button Part 1. Uh, you heard me talk about it in my last video. Uh, I don't think I've ever been as excited about uh, a, a non, you know, non-key, non-first appearance, just a simple new story arc um, as I have been with the button uh, story arc that they're going to do here in this Rebirth Batman and Flash Rebirth issues. Um, I was talking to the owner of my LCS and, you know, I, I told him, you know, I said, how many did you get? And he said, we got a lot of them. I think we'll be okay. And I said, I, I think there's going to be a run on these books. I don't know why. Uh, I don't even know if there's huge spec value in them, but uh, it's going to be a pretty, pretty awesome uh, arc. And sure enough, you know, when I went to pick my books up, I got them that day. Um, he said we were out by probably one or two o'clock and they had a bunch. So um, I like where it's going to head. Um, issue 21 of this one, basically, uh, it's just kind of setting it up. You do see uh, a little bit of Thomas Wayne, like I had mentioned in my last video. So I think we are going to see, certainly, uh, you saw, I'm not going to spoil it, but you saw who was in there. So certainly we're going to have a little pre-New 52 Flashpoint elements, and um, we'll see. Next part is going to be a Flash 21, which is going to be out Wednesday. So that's the regular cover. Uh, awesome cover by Faybach. Just really, really cool. Jason Faybach is, is, is a great artist. I very much like the way he draws uh, Batman and Flash. His interiors, his movement on his panels are really cool. Uh, so that's the regular cover. I did get the lenticular also. Uh, the lenticular kind of, it, it's, it's holding up that, yeah, that's it made these backwards the lenticular is um holding strong at like eight bucks i mean i think it's selling sales of eight seven eight bucks whatever uh here's um batman 20 so uh rebirth is the only uh rebirth batman is the only rebirth title that i'm continuing to pick up i, I will grab flash 21 and 22 of course but uh simply because it's uh the continuation of the button storyline so Um, last pull list, happy to see Seven to Eternity, number five. This is the Jerome O'Pena cover. Um, you know, it's like I had mentioned before, one thing that always concerns me with the Remender title is his, uh, proclivity to not release books in a timely manner. And, 
we might have started seeing the writing on the wall with issue five. It took it two months for issue five to get out. I hope it continues. Um, it's selling well enough for it to be an ongoing. There's kind of this debate whether it's a mini or an ongoing. I'm not sure why that is. I've heard that it's supposed to be an ongoing series. Um, you just don't know with Remender. Um, I still like it. I will still pick it up. So um, these next four, one, two, these next four books are books that I picked up on eBay. Uh, it's in continuation of my Peter Panzer Faust. I picked them up in a lot for twelve dollars shipped. That's Peter Panzer Faust number four, first full appearance of Wendy Darling. Issue five. These are all first prints. Issue six. And lastly, uh, if you watched my buddy Johnny DaCosta's video, um, issue number seven, first appearance of Tiger Lily, who is, as he says, a badass. She is awesome. Um, but people are asking me, I've been starting, as I trade books with people, people ask me like what runs I'm working on. If anyone like wants to trade for books, I'm working on my G.I. Joe run. I'm continuing my scout run. My Peter Pan's or Files, those are the ones that I really would like to complete, um, just for FYI purposes, I guess. So shout out to uh, Master X Splinter. Um, he showed this book uh, that I remember having as a kid. And let me get these out of the way. And I saw it in his video, and I remember having the toys... It's so rando. It's such a rando book. Street Sharks number one from Archie Comics. Okay, so a couple of things with this book. One, if you were born in the, the mid-80s like I was, and you remember Street Shark toys, like, they were the they were the best. And if you, you know, Street Shark toys, to, to the credit of, of that, uh, if you have some of those still, uh, mint and sealed box and... Uh, they go for a pretty penny. They're 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 sixty to eighty dollar toys. Um, but when I saw this book, I remember having this book as a kid because I had the toys, and I went to my LCS. Sure enough, they had it. It was near mint. But like, I'm gonna leave this up there for a second. Like, look at the cover. I mean, this is that cover is that cover is baller. Like, I mean. From everything, like the colors are so awesome, the way it comes out from out of the deep, the, the logo, everything. The tank coming out with the helicopter, that's like some DMZ type shit. I mean, it's cool. Like, I really, really liked it. Really, really liked it. Uh, Batman and Robin number 15. Um, this is not a book that I... Um, this is not a book that I purchased. Um, I saw this book in um, Archangel's video, and I I have so many books now, and my collection is not very organized the way it should be due to a lack of time. I thought I had this book. I remember picking this up, um, and I do have Batman and Robin number 15, the Fraser Irving 1 in 25 variant. It goes for like 35, you know, 50 on a good day. Um... Next few books, LCS pickups, uh, Teen Titans number 37, is that the first cameo, maybe first Miss Martian, uh, that was $2, Wonder Woman number 97, also $2, Brian Boland cover, beautiful Brian Boland cover, this is my second copy of this if anyone is interested. Uh, Zombie Tramp vs. Dollface. The Halloween Comic Fest, you know, the the first appearance um, of Dollface. I know there's that, uh, was it Baltimore Comic Con Expo, the Re Diamond Retailer Expo? That's the first appearance, I guess, but then there's a lot, the, the Long Beach Comic Con ex Expo or something, but for an $8, $10 book, I'll tell you. This book I'm really this book I was really excited to find. You don't see this book that often. I've only seen it one other time. This is Batman number 686. Third printing. 
the Andy Kubert cover, obviously, after Bob Kane. Um, I love it. I think it's a phenomenal cover. I don't know what it goes for. I saw one listing on eBay for 40 Um so if anyone has any idea what this goes for, if anything, if nothing, if something, I don't know, but um, still happy to find it. I, I paid six dollars for it. I thought that was, I thought that was fair. Uh, boom! I am so happy to complete this Star Wars Star Wars Star Wars number two, Darth Maul, son of Dathomir. Um, this completes my. Four arc, my uh, all four issues I now have. As I said in that video, I would get. Uh, I am so happy to have this. Uh, these four books go right into the personal collection. Um, I am beyond excited to to own um, these books. I have been looking for these books for a while. I paid twelve dollars for this. More than happy to pay uh, what I paid for the for the set. Whoops. So. This book right here, another example of a book that, for whatever reason, I don't, it's not rare, um, but I could never find in the wild. I wasn't willing to spend the 25, 28 bucks sometimes they're asking for it on eBay. Um, I found this uh, on eBay on a late night. Uh, eBay hunt one night, uh, just sitting up in bed watching some TV, and I just put in Suicide Squad number six to see if there was anything coming up, and just by chance, there was an auction ending in like an hour and a half at like 1 a.m. in the morning, and there were no bids, and I put in a bid of $10 and won the book for six. So uh, I put in my max bid of 10 and actually won the bidding for six. So Really happy to own this. The Hunt for Harley Quinn starts here. Uh, books number six and seven, uh, you sell those as a lot. You know, you could, you know, sometimes you can get 25, 20, 25, 30. Um, seven is the origin of Harley. When these, when this first run of New 52 came out, actually seven, uh, I always, seven usually had, seven garnered a higher price, um, but as, as the series wore on, six really was brought into the to the forefront as the the quote unquote like money book. And then, boom! I am so happy to finally own this book, Lady Killer issue number one, Joel Jones. I don't often pay up for a book. I paid twenty five dollars for this book. Um, I want it. I wanted to have it. So I pulled the trigger. He actually had two copies. Um, one he had for 25, the other he had for 20. I asked if I could have them both for 35. He said, uh, no, I can't do it. So I just went with the one, the higher grade for 25, and uh, I'm happy to have it. Uh, Joel Jones is so amazing. She's so talented, so creative, um, and happy to see that off the hiatus that Lady Killer is now back. So um, that's a good thing. So I did a trade with my buddy Ethan on Instagram, uh, Crazy Comics, if you uh, are on Instagram, and you'll see the book, the main book that we really traded for. These books, um, he actually threw in from, you know, out of the kindness of his heart, and I'll uh, return the favor somehow. Um, and of the one, two, three, four, five, six, I never told him what issues I didn't have, uh, he got five of the six that I didn't have. This is the only one, scalp number three, that's a double. Scalp number six, jock cover, beautiful. Scalp number seven. Scalp number eight, it's another gorgeous jock cover. Scalp number 18, I love that cover. That's a Tim Bradstreet cover. And scalp number 20, also a Tim Bradstreet cover. So thank you, buddy. Thank you, Ethan. I appreciate it very much. Uh, I will return the favor. You betcha. And 
the book that we traded for, and I'm not going to say what book I sent him. Um, if he, he probably will show it on uh, Instagram, but uh, I have been wanting this book forever, and I'm tired of just not having it. So Batman number 386, first appearance, Black Mask. Uh, so here's my little thought. I, I, I have a, a feeling that from everything that I've read, if Gotham City Sirens or a solo Harley gets made movie, um, I think that Black Mask is probably going to be the main antagonist. Um, I'm going to buy low now and hopefully um, shoot right on that spec. That's what I've heard. That's what I'm thinking. I think that would be appropriate. Um, so I wanted to get it now before the prices skyrocketed again. You saw the prices increased a year and a half ago, two years ago, when Black Mask was in that feature and he was in that Arkham Asylum. I think it was Arkham Asylum game. Um, they have dipped down since then, but uh, happy to, to finally have this book in my collection just because of what it is. I think the cover's amazing. Uh, I love the black against the yellow. I think it's awesome. So... It also came out in uh, my birth month, the actual birth month in August of 85. So um, this book is probably in uh, VF plus condition with, with white to off-white pages. There's just a little nick right by the price right there. But besides that, really happy to have. I think the trade was very fair, very honest. Um, the book I parted with... Uh, is similar in value, uh, maybe even worth a little bit more, but it's okay uh, simply because I'm not emotionally connected to that book at all. Um, so that's my haul, guys. I very much appreciate you watching as always, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Deuces on Black Mask. I'm all in on this, guys. I think he's going to be the antagonist. I think he's going to be the guy. Thanks for watching.